Tuesday. What's up everybody? It's your boy J Fiverr back up on this bike. Heading to work today. Maybe I'll do a little vlog, maybe I won't. I'm trying to quit caffeine, which is kind of difficult because I've been pretty addicted to caffeine for a long time. I love coffee. I'll drink like two, three cups of coffee. I'll be good, man. But um, I don't think it's good for me. Like, I don't think I'm benefiting from it. My mind races all the time. And it's probably because I drink a lot of caffeine. I don't have problems sleeping, but I think I just want to be like all natural for a while. I'll just get drunk, that's all. You know, all natural. Yeah, I guess I had a little bit of a topic today. A topic about bike damage. Oh shit. <clears throat> topic about bike damage as far as like you fuck something up no I'm talking about not um, a, a crash or something like that I'm talking about an accident you're changing your oil maybe the bike falls over or something like that well that was close as fuck <laughs> Alright, back to the topic. Bike damage. Accidental bike damage. And I'm not talking about a crash. I'm talking about like you drop something on the bike, accidentally scratch it or something like that. Accidentally drop it. Um, to my knowledge, when I bought my bike, it had never been down. And everything, everything checked out when I looked at it and everything. But since I've owned it, in the two years that I have owned this freaking amazing machine, I have had three incidents where my bike has had damage and all three incidences incident 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 <laughs> all three times none of them were my fault none of them all right first one the first time this bike had ever had any damage on it as since it was in my possession was at work i parked in a parking stall at work and I don't know, I, maybe I was a little bit to blame for it, but uh, I don't know, I didn't do it. So what, what had happened was, I part, there was an open parking um, lot pretty much, and this guy from work who I like, we're cool, he actually rides too, um, but he had his truck, and I parked next to his truck, and there was like, there was all kinds of open parking stalls, but since I liked the guy, I was like, I'm gonna park next to him. And apparently he was like texting as he was walking to his truck and he didn't see my bike parked. And like he was here and I was here and he left and went like this. He went to the right there and just like totally hit my freaking bike and knocked it over. He fucking knocked my bike over, man. That shit was fucking frustrating. I was pissed. But uh, he did do the right thing. He called me on my phone right away and he goes, hey man, um, come come out here and check out your bike right now. And I went out there and he had already picked it up and he's like, hey man, I accidentally hit your bike with my truck. Um, I knocked it over and blah, blah, blah. And I was like, so it was on the ground? And he goes, yeah, dude, I picked it up. I was like, motherfucker. Motherfucker. But actually I, had, I have frame sliders on there now. And on this side right here, my right side, it did get a little scratched up. It did save my fairing though. For the most part, it did get a little scratch there towards the bottom, but that sucked. And uh, my handlebar on the end was kind of fucked up too. But anyways, he ended up giving me some money for it. And I didn't even buy the new parts because it was just the frame slider and the bar end. And I was like, ah, fuck it. It wasn't really that big of a deal. The second time that I had damage done to my bike also wasn't my fault. And if you want to hear about that story, click right here and watch that video because I already did a video on it. And then the third time my bike had a little bit of damage, there was some guy doing some work in my house and he freaking put his tools like right by my bike like as if I don't really ride my bike very much because it was in the garage. And uh, dude, he freaking shipped a fucking red, like a little piece of uh, paint off the freaking fender right there. That shit was, that shit annoys the fuck out of me, man. 
Like, dude, you had the whole garage. You had the entire garage. There was not another car parked in the garage, and it's a two-car garage anyways. <laughs> oh, shit. Anyways, I'm almost at work, so I'm gonna have to wrap up this vlog. Y'all go ahead and tell me what type of damage you've done to your bike or what type of damage somebody has done to your bike in the comments below. Let me know how frustrating it is trying to keep a clean bike. All right, guys, take care.